Hello, so today we're going to learn how to create a point group on import from a te text or ASCII file. In this case, it's going to be a starnet.pts file. So we'll go to points, import, select it. We're going to select this hvo2.pts. We did a survey of a, of a the same site or project but in a different area. This happens to be a zoo and it's just a different enclosure um, not that far away from our first topo so we've created a topo 2 drawing and now we're going to create a topo 2 point group so that when we do field to finish we're only connecting the lines for this additional topo. And hit open. We're not going to skip any lines Here's the format for Starnet. We have the point protect. We should see a message. We're going to bring it into our current coordinate file. We, we should have all set up. Here's where it says point group to assign. And when you do this, it will allow you to um, create that on import. So you can set one. Let's say you created a point group ahead of time. But for us, we're just going to type it in there. And this topo 2 point group will be the same as our topo 2 drawing. OK. And if we go to points, point group manager, there it is. So all the points it brought in are the points that uh, for or for this topo too, which uh, matches up with the field notes and matches up with what they have. So this is a really convenient way when, um, especially when you have two crews. So this was done by two crews using two separate segments of points. And so instead of me having to type in by hand what crew one was doing and crew two, it all, we do the Starnet adjustment, it all comes in at the same time, and now I can do my field to finish uh, quickly. And then uh, we're good to go. All right, thank you. Grammatacy Land Surveying, look us up. Uh, we're, you know, if you type in Santa Barbara Land Surveyors or San Ynez Land Surveyors, uh, we've got multiple reviews on Google. Thanks a lot.